done destroyed us, sis. Because our prayers fell on deaf ears. We was praying to a white man that can't save us. That's yeah. right. You understand? That's why we're still in hell right now. And look at our people. The word of God is coming out, and they don't mind sitting over there not hearing the word of God. They don't want to change. They cool with being broken, destroyed as a people. Hey, check this out. You, hey, you know how, how people say we pray all the time? But well, we're still in the same condition, right? There's a reason why we're st st uh, still in the same condition. There's a reason why we got high blood pressure, diabetes, and all these things. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. God said his hand ain't short that he couldn't save you. He, he said his ear ain't short that he couldn't hear you. But watch this. Verse 2. But your iniquities, but your sins, have separated between you and your God. That's what unhappened. Our sins have separated us between us and God. You understand? So now we're in these conditions. We're in these ghettos. We're catching hell all over the earth. Our sons are getting shot down. They're going to jail. Our daughters are having baby after baby by different daddies, all because of what? Read it again. Verse 1. Two. Verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his eyes, faith, and, his, and your sins have hid his faith from you. Your sins have hid your face from God. He don't hear our prayers when we're in sin. You understand that, sis? He don't hear our prayers. And we know we are praying people. But God don't hear our prayers when we're in sin. Have you ever been told that? Do you know what a sin is? Watch this. There's a lot of people that's doing things they don't know they, they, they shouldn't be doing. But they don't know actually what it means not to do something against God. You all right? I said you came back. You ain't come back to hear the word. We'll be here the next time you come through. Hey man, why you Whosoever committed why sin, you just, yeah. we ain't picking on you, bro. I said, we'll, we'll be here when you come back. I tell you, I know about God, man. First, well, let's find out. Let's see, because our people say they know about God all the time. You got a relationship with God? That's right. I, I First John 2 and 3. Every night I go to bed, I take it out. Hey, sis, this is how you have a relationship with God, according to the Bible, not according to your own feelings. First John chapter 2 verse 3 and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments that's how you know God if you keep his commandments you keep his Sabbath you keep his feast days right. his high holy days right. you keep the laws that he told you right. you know one of the laws is for a man to grow a beard you got to stop shaving off your beard that's a law you Read. understand he said you know God when you keep his commandments Read. Right. he not saying I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. God said if you don't keep the commandments, he said you are a liar. Read. You know. And the truth is not in him. And the truth ain't in you. So you can't say you know God and you're not keeping his commandments. Right. You understand? That, I didn't say that. The Bible said it. Uh, right. Let me ask you. Did the Bible tell you to keep the Sabbath on Sunday or Saturday? On Saturday, 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 you do? On Saturday, Saturday, I would like to come down here. No, I'm asking you, is today the Sabbath? What are you trying to ask me? I'm asking you, is today the Sabbath? A Sabbath day? Yes. The day is a good day. No, today is the Sabbath, the day you're supposed to worship God. Right. That's the day. Why, why I gotta work? I love God. Well, the day is, just, watch this. I, I told you what was love. Watch this, give me John 14, 15. We can't be a talker. Listen, sis, you ever had a man tell you they love you? And then he didn't come home? They don't cheat on you? Right. See, that love don't mean nothing with our action, right? Right. Guess what? We can say we love God all day. It don't mean nothing with our action. That's Read. right. That's right. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If he loved me, listen what Christ said. He said, if. If a big word, ain't it, sis? If you love me, keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. You 
can't love God. You can't love Christ without keeping the commandments. That's right. You can't do it. That's why we are here to try to tell you. You haven't been keeping God's commandments. Give me, give me Exodus 20 and 8. Let's find out. Hey, hey, if you didn't know the commandments, guess what? Why was that one time we didn't know one? Because we, hey, I ain't got you out here. Guess who got you out here? God got your feet planted right there where you at right now here in the Word of God. That's what got you right there. What? Every Saturday. You out here right now. Guess, guess what God say? Choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Right. Read out. Read. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Read out. Remember the Sabbath day. What did God tell his brother? Remember the Sabbath day. He said remember the Sabbath day. Because why? He's like this made us forget. Slavery. Right. That's right. Slavery is why we forgot the Sabbath day. Right. Because the white man said, you know what? I don't want you Negroes worshiping God. I want you to worship me. And instead of keeping the Sabbath day, he said, you're going to keep Sunday. Instead of having a black Messiah, I'm going to give you this right here. Right. Read out. That's your Jesus. That's your Jesus that tells you that you ain't got to do nothing that the Bible say. Right. That's, right. that's your Jesus that can tell you that you can just love God without any actions. Right. You, you understand that? Has that? Have you not been told that was Jesus? What does Jesus really look like? Exactly. Jesus look like you. That's right. He look like you. Let's right. find out. I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show you in the Bible. Jesus look like you. Right. Huh? Why? Why you ask me that? I because you know why? Because this been your Jesus. This is a lie. Is this who you pray to? That's right. Watch this. So let's find out. Watch this. Give me before you, before you get that. Give me John eight thirty two. I'm gonna show you something, bro. I'm gonna show you something. Cause Dave, you ain't the only one been praying to him. That's right. Our sons and daughters been praying to him. You right. go to church on Sunday, you pray to him. That's right. Guess what? That's the devil that the Bible speak of. That's right. John chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. You hear what the Bible say? You're going to know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. If you got to know the truth, it must make you was told a lie. Have you ever been read the description of Jesus Christ? Oh, guess what? You're going to be, hey, today is your good day. That's right. You understand? I told you you was going to get the word of God. Give me Revelation 1, verse 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The, the, the root word of revelation is the revealing. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he sent and signified it. By his angel and to his servant John. Watch this. Read. Who bear record. What did John do? Who bear record. John bear record. Read. Of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ read. and of all things that he saw. So John bear record of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all the things that he saw. Watch this. Read verse 3. Verse 3. Thus is he that readeth. Somebody obviously is out breaking the Sabbath today. That's judgment. Read that again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. You hear what that just said? Blessed is he that readeth and blessed is he that heareth the word of this prophecy. Guess what, sis? We're going to give you some blessings today. Because you're going to hear the word of this prophecy. Give me verse 14. Let's get right to the root of the matter. Let's find out what our Savior, our Messiah, who we claim to love and believe in, let's find out what he looks like so we can make sure that we're not following a false Christ like this image right here. That's right. Because I'm going to tell you about this man after I read what Christ really looked like. Right. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. The hair on his head and the hair on his face was wool in texture and white in color. Right. Fully gray. So let me ask you, sis, who got woolly hair on this earth? We do. The so-called black man. Hey, that's a beautiful thing, is it not? Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. It said his eyes was like a flame of fire.
name of fire. Do you think fire was coming out of Zion's sister? Let's show you what that means. Give me Genesis 49 and 12. This, hey, 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 this is what prophets do, sis. We're going to stay in this Bible. We're going to give you the word of God. We ain't going to shuck and jive. We ain't going to sing you no songs. We ain't going to ask you for your money. We're going to teach. Read. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be what? Red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. So the whites of his eyes was red because when we drink a little bit, what color do the whites of our eyes turn? It turns red. Go back. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet, and his what? And his feet like unto fine brass. He said his feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sis? Brown. Like right now, you're a fine brass. You understand? That's a beautiful brown you got going on. That's fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. His feet look like what? As if they burned in a furnace. Because that Christ was so dark, it looked like his feet was burnt in a furnace. That's right. What color is that? Dark. <laughs> they, would he be a very dark skinned black man? Why is our people so ashamed of that? Why shouldn't they love that? Why in the hell would our people think that a white man finna float down here to save them? You know? Tell me that. They was taught a lie. Guess what? That lie done destroyed us. Give me Isaiah 4 and 6. I mean, Hosea 4 and 6. That lie done destroyed us, sis. Because our prayers fell on deaf ears. We was praying to a white man that can't save us. That's yeah. right. You understand? That's why we're still in hell right now. And look at our people. The word of God is coming out, and they don't mind sitting over there not hearing the word of God. They don't want to change. They cool with being broken, destroyed as a people. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. You know? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God said his people, his children, these are his people. These 12 tribes are the children of Israel. Right. We his children. And he said my children are destroyed. They destroyed for what reason? For lack of knowledge. They destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I'm going to tell you something. If you wanted your car fixed, you go to a mechanic. Hey, if you were sick, you go to a doctor. You expect results. We, we go to church every Sunday, and the community don't change. That's right. We go, we, we go to church every Sunday, and there's still drug dealers on every corner. We go to church every Sunday, and our people are still destroyed. Why are you still going to churches on Sunday? Because this image of this man right here is more appealing to you than the man that looks like you. That's right. That's why our people won't get out their butt, get out their behind, and come and hear the word of God. That's why they won't take heed to the warning, because they love the white man so damn much, they want him to be saved when the white man is the one that got you in captivity. Those ones that's sitting right beside you, guess what? They just two-time losers. They ain't took they ain't took advantage of all the things that they they government has provided for them. That's they just right. in the same state they you in at the bottom. They ain't here catching a bus like you because why? They ain't took advantage of the system that was created for them. And you want to sit there and want to join hands with them? You were created to be above them. Right. But we destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. What do our people do? Has rejected knowledge. You still sitting on your behind? You can't come up here and find out you the greatest people on earth? They did what? Rejected knowledge. They reject knowledge. That's what our people do. We at the bottom when we'll cry all day. Man, if we just come together, if we just come together, we can't even get you to get off your ass and come here and find out the truth about God. Bring it on. Read. I will also reject thee. What will God do? I will also reject thee. Don't think your state going to change because you don't want to hear the word of God. God's going to keep you at the bottom. He's going to destroy you and kill you because why? You want to reject God. 
You want to reject his word? You want to reject his commandments? You want to reject the prophets? But you want to sit there and beg and plead. You want to pray. Your prayers are falling on deaf ears because you reject God. Read it from the top again. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We destroy from the lack of knowledge because we ain't got enough wisdom to, say, to know that when God's word is coming out, we should take heed to it. We should go listen. These brothers ain't out here passing around a collection plate. Right. They out here giving warning from God. Right. They actually reading the Bible. They ain't telling you prosperity is coming. They ain't telling you no lies. They just telling you to repent, get yourself right. The white man don't lie to you. He done deceived you. He got you following a false religion. He got you following a false Christ. We are here to try to give you back the kingdom on earth. We are trying to give you rulership back on earth. What man don't want that? What woman don't want that? It's time for us to wake up. Hey, don't be afraid to take back what's given. You got to want it. If you want to get out of poverty, you got to want to get out of poverty. You ain't going to get out of poverty by sitting at home waiting on a welfare check, by waiting on food stamps. You got to work. Guess what? If you want the kingdom, you got to work. That's right. You got to serve God. You got to serve him with action. Stop doing it with lip service. Stop talking about you love God, but yet when the prophets come out, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to take heed. What type of foolishness is that? The white man didn't get this kingdom because he sat there and said, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and let the Negroes give it to me. He came over here and took the kingdom. Well, guess what? We're going to take the kingdom. That's right. We're going to take the kingdom. Give me that in Daniel 9 and 18. We're going to take the kingdom. We ain't going to sit there and wait on it. We're going to take it back one man, one woman at a time. We're going to come back to God's laws. You understand? And when God say, I got 144,000 men keeping these laws and commandments, guess what? That's what he's going to ride. He's going to ride for you. He's going to ride for you. He's going to ride for you and those that keep God's laws. Read. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. We're going to do what? Shall take the kingdom. The saints of the Most High going to take the kingdom. That's, right. That's the blacks, Spanish, and Native Americans that come back to their true nationality. They come back to being the children of Israel. They come back to being the sons and daughters of the Most High God. We're going to take the kingdom. We ain't going to sit there and wait on it. We're going to take it because it's rightfully ours. We're going to take back what's ours. We're going to keep those imposters right up out of our land. We're going back in the rulership again. Read it again from the top. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Guess what? Real men ain't sitting around begging. That's right. Real men getting ready for war. Right. Because it's a spiritual war going on and they out here destroying your soul. That's right. So we getting ready for the battle because the saints of the most high gonna do what? Shall take the kingdom. We're gonna take the kingdom. That's right. We and possess the kingdom. We're gonna do what? Possess the kingdom. We're gonna possess the kingdom. Right. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. That's how long. Right. We're going to possess that kingdom forever. It ain't going to never be took back from us. Yeah, right. Hey, our big brother Jesus Christ is coming back to set dominion on this earth. Right. That's right. And he's going to put us back in charge. Right. We got to want that thing. Right. That's right. We got to want it because it's rightfully ours. And it's already written. So why should you get on the losing side and not come and take back the choice? Wake him up! What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.